Hello one and all, this is Luckless Lovelocks back with Danganronpa, and wow, what a crazy trial that was. Um, just to kind of put this into perspective, we're now with a, a serial killer, confirmed serial killer, and a guy that decided to pose the body, a dead body, like the crime scene of a serial killer, just for fun. I didn't think this was going to be a complicated enough of a case. So there's those two to deal with amongst... Um, the end of the last episode, where we saw um, that there's probably a traitor in our midst. So it's going to be interesting uh, to find out who that is as well, and I think that's going to play a major part in the next trial. Let's get right to it! Wait. I know I shouldn't cry, but I've had enough. Uh oh. I can't take it anymore. Getting out of here anytime soon. This does not look good. It's impossible. I can't let myself think about how much I want to get out of here. She gonna kill now? If I keep thinking like that, I might decide to kill or commit suicide. Wow, okay. And there's that. Donuts! They need some donuts, that'll cheer me up! Okay, whoa! Clay's donuts, twisty donuts, jelly donuts, cream filled donut holes, malasadas! I don't know what malasadas are. Okay! Oh god of donuts, I'm praying for a wonderful encounter! Her, play, her room is like really messy compared to ours. I'm sorry. Please forgive me for breaking the nighttime rule. But right now, for me, donuts are absolutely necessary. Oh. Looks like. Did we run into her while she was. getting donuts? Huh? Why are we here? Huh? Wait a second. Who is this that we're. whose eyes are we looking through right now? Huh? Sounds like a robot or something. What's that sound? Hmm. Sounds like it's coming from the bathhouse? But... I'm super scared, but... Uh-oh. Is... Is someone there? Huh? A next generation legend. Stand tall, galactic hero. Chapter 3. Okay. Ifumi is going to play a big part in this one, I guess. The morning after the conclusion of the second class trial. Everyone met up in the dining hall, just like always. And I expected it to start like any other day. That's what I expected, but... <sighs> Today's count kind of sucks, huh? Toko and Baikuya still refuse to show up? And I haven't seen Mrs. Asahina anywhere. Hmm. She said her stomach was hurting, but she's taking it easy in her room for today. Oh. That is rather unusual for her. Normally she is so full of energy. Hmm. Which is exactly what makes me worry. So then. So it's just the seven of us then? Looks that way. How about that? It's times like this where the committee chairman needs to get things going with the bang. Oh, Taka is like, doesn't know what to do anymore. He's like totally lost his identity, I think. Impossible. Or not. He has no idea what to say. He's just, he's just flabbergasted. Heartbroken. Taka hasn't said a word since everything that happened yesterday. One look at his face showed he hadn't slept a wink last night. Must be because of Mondo. Two of them became so close, and then he finds out Mondo killed Chira. And then having to watch Mondo get punished, and nothing he could do about it. Can't even imagine what it must have done to him. Well. So, I mean, what's gonna happen now? 
We haven't found any way out, and we have no idea if help's ever gonna come. <laughs> it's like... Now I'm all depressed just thinking about it. <laughs> we simply have to make the best of things. Do our best to get along and live here together in peace. Forget about the outside world and accept this new life. That is the only hope we have now. What? To live here forever? Well... Here we have every... Convenience. We have food, clothes, our every need is seen to. Why are you dissatisfied? <sighs> In fact, let me ask you this. What is it about the outside world that you long for? Is that okay? Competition, discrimination, victimization, and violence? As society grows, so does its perversion. In which case, is our current situation not... <laughs> Demon Angel, pretty pudgy princess! Huh? Here we go! Meggy, the drill shop owner, the bunny eared Amazon, cat girl, dog boy, robo justice, and galactic, the galactic king! And in? <laughs> what I mean is, there's no 2D here! There is nothing to be done. The mastermind puts such base desire to their advantage, bending you to their will. You know? Okay, well, anyways, this tack is like catatonic. Hmm. As the oldest one here, I'm officially stepping up to take the lead. So, we're all gonna work together and spend the rest of the day searching the school. Searching. I'm right, right. Well, I mean, since the class trial is over and all, perhaps there should be new places for us to investigate. Hmm. Yeah, that's the ticket. Maybe we'll find some kind of clue this time. Well then. Then, once we're done eating, let's split up and begin looking around. Do you have any problem with that, Celeste? <laughs> hmm. There may well be a discovery waiting for us, which may further enrich our life here. Um... Eh, no point. So look for clues. The point is to look for clues. Just as we were starting to come together, she barged in and ruined the conversation. You called for me, so I appear! <laughs> Great. You called for me, so I appear! Genocide! What? Uh, nobody called for you. Uh, um... Yeah, we totally forgot about her. What the? How come it's Genocide Jill and not Toko? Yes! God, this place is just amazing! Finally a place I could just be my murderous self. That's why I've decided to stop holding back and spread my wings. No more hiding in a cave for me! Uh -huh. Plus, I have another battle to fight. The whole killer with a split personality thing is so overdone, I gotta destroy that stereotype. You SOB! I'll fight all day, all night to murder those totally slanderous cliches. Uh, um... But you are a killer with a split personality. <laughs> yeah, if she weren't here, my chances of survival will go up at least 10%. Uh -huh. Come on, you gotta back me up here. Even the biggest stars need the little people to hold them up. Well, whatever else we do today, first we should eat. We can't do anything on an empty stomach. You're right, let's hurry up and eat so we can start our investigation. <laughs> Jill's full of joie de vivre. I don't think she needs to eat. Oh god. So we were forced to eat breakfast with a murderer. After our much needed but very annoying meal, we set to work looking around the school. This is... <laughs> this strange game has gotten that much stranger, guys. Alright, um... Let's take a look here. What have we not checked out yet? We got the second floor. I think there's a third floor, so let's go over to the second floor so we can get to the third floor now. Also, I didn't really look uh, around the second floor all that much either. Could it be? Nothing's changed on this floor. Hmm. The only difference is the gate block and the stairs leading up to the third floor is gone. Guess that's where they want us to head next. I wonder what kind of crazy stuff is up there. I'm kidding. Let me just take a look uh, on the second floor some more. I might have missed something. Lock. 
power of windows. I think nothing special here. Yes. Got the library, another classroom. I guess I have kind of looked through this uh, floor. Let's uh, let's go upstairs then. The stairs going down. It's weird. No comment. The third floor of Hope Speak Academy. I wonder what we're gonna find this time. It's up here. It's up here. Wait, there's the stairs. Only dads. There's no more stairs up, I guess. Oh, there is a fourth floor. Okay, so there's a couple classrooms over there. Nothing particularly interesting. And then there's this rec room. Looks like a target on it. Okay, it's for games. Great. Hmm, so this is... Let's a recreation room, a place for students to come and relax. Never would have imagined a school having a place like this. <laughs> well, no normal school would. It has Othello, Shogi, even a dartboard and a pool table. And look at this. They have even provided us with a remarkable number of magazines. Oh, there's the 2D. Isn't it wonderful? Those will certainly be helpful in keeping our boredom at bay. Listen up! Ring, ring, ring! Hello there! Allow me to expound! We've got fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, video games, baseball, science, all kinds of magazines. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Oh, but nothing dirty. This is a school, after all. If you need a quick fix, check out the swimsuit mags. So then... And will you be adding our collection as new issues come out? Too bad! Sorry, no can do! Even if I wanted to, right now magazines are kinda... Kinda what? Watch out! Oops. Nothing, never mind, no, no, no. Anyway, that's it for my expandation. Bye-bye! Weird. Magazines are kind of... What he just said. I know, right? It bothers me too. Most unfortunate. Life here would be that much nicer if he could add some new issues once in a while. How disappointing. Really? Okay, lots of stuff to look at here. This looks like Othello. Pretty bad at Othello. Okay. But some coins, man, we got a lot. What's this underneath? a table here. Kind of similar to the desks in the classroom, but also kind of not. I don't understand why that's important to see. Pool table isn't normal school equipment. Is this thanks to Monokuma, or did the school buy it? No coins? Like a comfy chair. A firm looking leather couch. Or couch. Looks pretty comfortable. Dark board. Monokuma brand dartboard. There's even a dartboard. Did Monokuma put this here or was it always part of the school? Nice uh, Monokuma poster thing. What kind of magazines we've got? All different kinds of magazines here on the shelf. Even have a bunch of monthly comics, but without getting regular updates, what's the point? I assume he doesn't, we won't get regular updates because we want to open the school up to the outside world, but it must be some way to open it up. Uh, to get food and so on and so forth. Is this a bar? Looks like some kind of uh, bottle, but what the heck is it? Maybe it's just for decoration or something. It's Monokuma brand beer. The beat up old locker. Doesn't seem especially important right now, so I don't need to open it. Oh, right now it doesn't seem important. Okay. There is nothing to be done. <laughs> All right, uh, that's looks like that's it in this room. Got uh, another mailbox area. Kyoko. It would seem. So the third floor opened up this time. After a brief investigation, it looks like there's a physics lab in an art room. 
<sighs> I also found a huge machine of some kind in the physics lab. I wonder what it does. Very interesting. This must be the art room? Gallery? Oh, okay. Ah! First glance, this looks like any normal art room. Something about it seems off, or multiple somethings. Maybe low down, who threw me? <laughs> well, well, look at all this equipment. It certainly scratches that artistic itch of mine. Art supplies, of course, but they've also collected all kinds of sculpting tools. So, Ifumi, I... Do you like sculptures and figurines and stuff? Yes, indeed. Well, normally I limit myself to 2D, but figurines are like borderline 2D, so it's okay. I don't know how that's borderline, but okay. <laughs> I'm a fan of Charanbo, Pumpkin Hand, and especially admire anything that Saburo Ronpongi makes. I have no idea what those are. I've heard Pumpkin Head before, but it's probably a different context. Charanbo's ability to express the movement of muscles is exquisite. A scene in his Mama Cat series. Oh, you're a fan of Mama Cat. Pumpkin Head is like a little sculptor fairy, representing this century's greatest quality. Saburo Rampongi, meanwhile, is known for his Mecha Masu Musume Musumi series, which led to a worldwide tour. <laughs> Truly, they can only be regarded as the Elite Four. But one of your elite is missing. Oops, that was supposed to be Mikado. But one of your elite is missing. You know nothing. Well, the Elite 3 just sounds stupid, doesn't it? Yes, indeed. Besides, that empty seat right there really belongs to me. <laughs> mm, it begins, today begins my reign as a legendary ruler of the next century. I see, well, good luck with that. Oh god, there's a statue of Monokuma, of course. Is this a statue of Monokuma? Who would ever want to make something like this? Still, the quality is surprising. Nice. We've got some drawings. I don't see any drawings of Monokuma. God. Oh, that's the door. Uh. Cool. Check this out now. This is the repository that's attached to the art room. It's used to store different artsy things. It's like... Dolly... They must have used it to move all these statues around. Oops. No. Not yet. There are wooden mallets hanging on the wall. If I had to guess, I'd say they use them for making sculptures. <coughs> Murder weapon. For sure. Oh, is that Germando? There's something on the floor. It looks like Leon and Mondo. Oh, and uh... Chihiro? Almost as if on its own, my hand froze. Huh? I saw in that picture was Chihiro, Leon, and Mondo. And they were smiling. What is this? Questions started bracing through my head, one after the other. Why is it only these three people? What are they doing together? Is this a painting or a photo? How come they're smiling like that? I think it's in a classroom. When was it taken? Who took it? Where's the camera they use? How'd they get it developed? This is weird. In the picture, the window, in the classroom. There's no metal plate covering it. Must mean wherever this picture was taken, it wasn't here at Hope's Peak. But there was no time to find an answer. All the questions floating around my head were quickly drowned out by... Motherfucker! That's mine! Give it back! Anakuma appeared out of nowhere and snatched the photo, and any chance I had at answers evaporated. You peeked, didn't you? Well, they all had some pretty dazzling smiles, huh? Isn't that wonderful? They were definitely living their school life. It's like they ripped a page right out of the book of youth. What's going on with that picture? Do you know? <laughs> I'm not telling you nothing. 
Why can't you give me a straight answer? Never mind, I don't even know why I bothered asking. So, that very seriously implies that they knew each other before coming here, but... I didn't really get any indication that they did know each other from uh, what we've seen so far, but now we can't even ask them, right? Because they're all dead. Weird! Yes. Alright, so there's th these pictures, it looks like. Or lockers. A locker, but it doesn't seem like there's anything inside. Pictures on the wall. There are paintings lining the walls. This really art just looks like a bunch of crappy graffiti to me. Some Monokuma art, maybe. It's a Venus statue. Yep, definitely very art room-ish. Is this strange statue here? It's the statue of Neo. I've really heard of anyone using a Neo statue for life drawing classes or whatever. Hmm. Is that it? I think I've seen everything. I'm sure. Let's see if Fumi has anything else to say. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's just repeating himself. Okay. Then there's a physics lab, I think Kyoko was saying. And that is at the end of the hallway. Yeah. Around here to the left. Weird door. Whoa. <laughs> this is the physics lab. Less like a classroom, more like some kind of research institute. Alright, Taka, are you speaking? Hey, Taka, don't you think this place is like some kind of research institute? Still not talking. Still no reaction. It's up here. Camera, of course. Some kind of computer. Old computer. She it's obviously some kind of purpose, but I don't know anything about physics to begin with, so I wouldn't have a clue where to start with this. It's like a computer from the 50s. Oh, it's up with this ridiculously big machine. Watch out! Watch out! What? What? Oh, what? You want to do some quantum leaping? Huh? That's a time machine. Pretty awesome, right? It's designed by a student right here at Hope's Peak. The ultimate physicists. Although, they don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. A time machine? Seriously? We can go back in time? Okay then, let me get in there. I can go back to the past, and I can... This time I'll stop Mondo for sure! <laughs> oh, sorry, not possible. This particular time machine can only go back one minute. Comes in handy when you, like, leave your pizza bagels in the microwave one minute too long. <gasps> one minute? Wah -wah? Hmm? You sound disappointed. But actually, I was lying about the whole thing anyway. There's so there's no such thing as time machines. What? Hey, um... Honestly, it's just an air purifier. He's bullshitting us. Air purifier? In other words, it can produce clean air no matter where you're at. With, with that thing, you could even live on Mars. But what with the discombobulating gravity and deadly low temperatures, you probably won't, won't want to live on Mars. Anyway, this machine is the reason you guys have all this delicious air. So don't go messing with it. You break it and it's your butt. This huge thing is just an air purifier. And more than that. Go out of your way to say something you know will hurt someone who's already suffering. God damn you. 
I mean, we know Monokuma's MO. We shouldn't be surprised anymore. Okay. Must use these for physics experiments and stuff. Materials, pulleys, steel plates, magnets, and all kinds of stuff I don't even recognize. Things and stuff. Okay, what's this though? This looks like a camera. Oh, this is the digital camera. It's got some kind of weird anime style design on it. Kind of beat up, but it looks like it still turns on just fine. Yep, it still works. We'll show the others later. Oh, looks like we picked it up even. Cool. We have like an inventory, aside from our uh, presence. Like, uh... Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, okay, so... Let's we look at this again. Okay, and then there's some kind of back room here. Oh, great. This is the equipment room. Super disorganized, and there's a strange chemical smell in the air. Uh -huh. Ah, this place is so relaxing, so calming! The smell of formaldehyde is almost unbearable. It's so tempting! Uh -huh. Ah, I want to just dunk myself right in it. Of course, Genocide Jack likes it. Just goes to show how disgusting it really is. Hmm. Discovered lots of stuff, and it was all strange, but I don't know if any of it was an actual clue. It's getting more confused. We should head to the dining hall and talk about it with everyone else. For now, I should head to the dining hall. When I got back to the dining hall, the first thing I noticed was... Ah. Hina? I tried to talk to her, but my voice is immediately drowned out by the others as they rush into the dining hall. Hina. Huh? Huh? I thought she was sick or something. Everyone rushed past me and crowded around Hina. Being surrounded by everyone like that, Hina looked really uncomfortable. Hina. Are you feeling better already? <laughs> yeah, I ate a few donuts and that, that really helped a lot. I do love those donuts. But wasn't it your stomach that was hurting? Well... Well, my stomach ache kind of made me hungry, so, you know. <laughs> er, ah, I guess my memory's kind of fuzzy lately. Mm. They say that a goldfish will eat however much food you give it, even if it's, a, if it's about to burst. Miss mm. Asahina mm. is pretty much the same, it mm. looks like. Just a second! Hey, you of all people don't have any room to talk. Well... Anyway, I was worried about you. Besides that, you... Jeez, your knockers are huge! What the heck did you convince them to double up on milk production? Bastard! Stay away from her, fiend. Uh, um... uh, anyway, first things first, we should talk about what we found, right, Taka? Hmm. Right! <laughs> okay, guys. I gotta wrap up this episode here. Uh, I guess we'll find out what everyone else found next time on Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc Theater. This is Luckless Lovelock signing off for now, and I love you all. <laughs>